about to leave already packing come with me i'm not hello friends and enemies so my shelves are a mess behind me because we're gonna unhaul we it's time i've got to get rid of books i've got such a big pile so just an fyi most of this unhaul will be donated to the library uh it will go to little free libraries in my area etc like it's not just like getting thrown away um any arcs probably gonna throw them in a little free library or recycle them I only have like one arc in this pile though. Usually I give those away if I don't like them or want them and one of them, I don't know. So let's run through it. I'm not gonna tell you in detail. I'll tell you what book it is and a little bit about why, but obviously I just don't want them anymore. First, we have a graphic novel, Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me by Marikito Tamaki and Rosemary Valerio O'Connell. This was really cute, but I would much rather get it in the hands of a queer teen or someone who would really, really value it. I enjoyed it for the most part was my favorite so I'm not gonna keep it. Next we have The Secret by Julie Garwood. I recently picked up a con copy in even better condition than this one so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this on to somebody else and I really love this book. It's really good. I'm just replacing it with a better copy. Next we have Her Night with the Duke by Diana Quincy. I picked this up because I thought I was gonna love it. I did not. Um, I've talked about it in depth on my channel so away it goes. Next we have Jennifer Ryan's Dirty Little Secret. This is a cowboy romance and I got it free in an event and I honestly just don't read cowboy romances. It is a proof slash an arc so I will make sure it gets into like the right spot. <laughs> I have another arc that I got at an event. This is Sandra Hill's The Forever Christmas Tree. I just don't read Christmas books. Um, I pretend I want to be that person and I'm just not that person so off to a better home. Night Chaser by Amanda Bouchette is another one that I picked up at an event. I think I got it for free at the event. It was like in my grab bag. And I just have no interest in reading this one. I really like Her Promise of Fire, but I've heard really mixed things on this one. So I think I'm just gonna let it go. Next, we have A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Moss. I hate this book. I thought it was terrible. Uh, so I'm not keeping it. I may keep my other three books in the series, but I'm not keeping this one. Next we have Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, which I'm unhauling because I now have hardcovers from Illumicrate. Next we have Dreams of Gods and Monsters and Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. Same thing. I have the new hardcovers from Illumicrate ordered, so I don't see a point in keeping around two copies of the same thing. Next I have A Simplified Life by Emily Lay. This is from when I was more into the planner community, and I met Emily. She's really sweet. I have the signed. I just it doesn't work for my life so i'm just gonna go ahead and pass it along then we have most mostly partially stars welcome to night Vale episodes volume one i picked this up on clearance and i don't know why i did i love the podcast i'm never gonna read the book version of it i think it's a cool concept it's just not for me then we have carry on by rainbow rowell which i did not like i am in the minority on this i just don't like it i don't Everything besides fangirl, I just don't like Rainbow Rowell that much, to be honest with you. Not only has she done some questionable things, but I just have not been thrilled with anything else I've read by her. Next, we have A Prince on Paper by Alyssa Cole. I have three copies of this book. So I'm getting rid of an extra one because I have three copies of this book. I got a book, a copy that's signed from a friend who went to an event pre-COVID. And then I apparently had another copy hidden on my shelf somewhere. And then one of my other friends gifted me a copy. So I want to keep the two copies I was gifted and get rid of the copy I gave myself. Probably going to set this aside for like a giveaway in the future. Next, we have another one I got at an event. It's BJ Daniels, Cowboys Redemption, and Premeditated Marriage. I don't read cowboys. Uh, all right, and then we have Pestilence by Laura Thalassus. I thought I liked this book. The more I think about it, the less I like this book. I've not continued the series. I was going to get it signed at a Polycon. She had to cancel last minute. So then I have Pale Moon Stalker by Cheryl Henke. Uh, this just looks racist. I'm not going to lie to you. This looks like it's got some weird Indian man in the corner. Like Native this has a Native American man up in the sky. And I'm just, I'm not interested in it, to be honest with you. Uh, then we have Bulletproof by Avery Flynn. It's not that I would never read this, but I've never read the McKinsey Family books. I got it at an event. Again, it's like a thousand and one nights thing. I'm not interested. And then I have Leah on the Off Feet by Becky Albertalli. I've never read this because everyone I know that read it hated it. And I picked it up at Book People when I was in Austin for a convention. 
and I got it signed and all this stuff and I was really excited to read it and then everyone I know hated it. So here I am now getting rid of it. One that surprises no one is a She Who Shall Not Be Named book. Um, I have set aside everything I already own and put it into a box kind of out of the way. Uh, I don't necessarily want to rehome it so I'm keeping what I've already paid for but I'm not spending any more money on her and this is an extra copy it's gonna go into the recycling I think because I don't really want to put this in anybody's hands. Next we have Catwoman by Sarah J Moss and Batman by Marie Lou. I'm getting rid of these because honestly if I'm gonna read them I'm gonna read them for my library I'm not gonna read them physically on my shelf. I'd much rather some kid be able to pick these up for cheap or out of a little free library and enjoy them. Next I have Children of Blood and Bone Barnes and Noble edition. I loved this book. And then everyone hated the sequel and I was like well we're done. So away it goes because looking at it just makes me want the sequel and I know I'm not gonna like it so why keep it? Also I would much rather a kid pick this up and love it and maybe never discover the sequel. <laughs> All right y'all um so I want to get rid of I have these out of order but the entire Marissa Myers uh series crests or it starts off with yeah Cinder and then it's uh Scarlet and Cress and Winter. I have these all in hardback. I really like the new paperback editions and I don't want two copies so I'm gonna go ahead and pass these along to some unsuspecting YA reader who will be utterly delighted to have these especially in a hardback. Um yeah I didn't think I'd do it but the more I see the new ones in store the more I want them versus these and I love this series but if I revisit it it's going to be via audio and probably again through my library. Next we have Beach Read by Emily Henry which I got through Book of the Month. I like getting romances when Book of the Month had them and I was still a member. I did not like Beach Read. Um, it reads like a romance. I gave it three stars. I don't think it's badly written but it reads like a romance written for people who don't read romance. And I, the, the one redeeming quality was Gus who I really did like and I just really hate the deception of this cover about it being this light fun read and it's not it's grief ridden and heart-wrenching also like she needs to grow up like january was so immature for her age next we have the proposal by jasmine guillory i read this it was cute but i don't read jasmine guillory anymore i don't particularly like jasmine guillory anymore i find her books very boring overall <laughs> and I just don't like how she talks about the romance community always. She isn't my favorite. So away this goes. This one may break some hearts if you're a fantasy reader but uh Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I don't think the third book's ever gonna come out and I was gonna read this when the third book had a date um and then Patrick Rothfuss said some questionable things and it's beautiful. I think this edition is like gorgeous and if I had unlimited shelf space I would maybe keep it but I don't and I'm not gonna have unlimited shelf space for a while and I get why people really love it. It sounds like something I would probably like. I do still own the audiobook if I decide I want to try it but um yeah no we're just we're sending it off into the world. Next we have a short story collection which is the Summer Days and Summer Nights with 12 Love Stories edited by Stephanie Perkins. I just don't care. <laughs> I think I picked this up for $3 when I just wanted books for my shelves and you know I don't do that anymore. I don't need to do that anymore and yeah here we are. So I have Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I love Frankenstein. It's one of my favorite classics um, and this edition is really cool but I'd rather get like a drop cap edition or a um other version it is kind of neat because it has like comic books on it so i am going to get rid of it but i plan on replacing it with a drop cap or something fancy i don't know if there's like cloth bound or what but there's got to be and then the last book is zenith by Sha sasha alsberg and lindsey cummings this i got at y'all y'all fest not y'all west y'all fest in charleston one year and proceeded to be amazed at how bad it was. It was bad. This was really bad. So yeah, I'm gonna pop this into a little free library for somebody or something. I just have no interest in it. I never read the sequel. I thought it was gonna be really fun. It sounded really fun. Not it. Was not it. So 
those are all the books I'm unhauling. I have no idea how many that is. I feel like it's a lot for me, but here we are. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, drop a sunflower emoji in the description box. You can also give this video a quick thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you are unhauling a lot of books in 2021 or not buying books. I will talk to y'all soon. Bye. Really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know.